Today I'm going to teach you how to make a steak sandwich properly. Now look beyond this just being a steak sandwich, this is actually the holy trinity of how to cook a perfect steak every time. All right, now the very first thing you're going to need is obviously the main contestant, the steak. So today we have a scotch fillet, which some would regard as the most flavorsome cut of meat. All right, and that is due to this marbling and more specifically, the fat and the marbling that's running through the center, all right? Having that there is going to give this cut of meat when we're cooking it a lot of flavor, a lot of tenderness, and it is why today I've chosen the scotch fillet to use as my cut of meat for my sandwich. So let's get cooking. Okay, so guys, the most important part of cooking a steak is the process before you even begin to do anything, and that is getting it out of the refrigerator and letting it sit and room up to warm temperature, all right, before you start cooking it. You do not want to cook it while it's cold. This is going to cause an inconsistent cook. What you want to do is get it out of the fridge, maybe about 30, 40 minutes beforehand, let it warm up slightly, all right? We don't want it in the danger zone. We don't want it, the meat to go off. All right, it's controlled out room temperature and you just bring it up a little bit so that when you cook it, you're gonna get a better cook. Now, this has been sitting out for about 35 minutes. All right, and what I'm gonna do now is season my steak. So just with some salt and pepper, I'm gonna give it a very generous coating on both sides. What I'm gonna do now, guys, is heat up my fry pan. I'm going to put that over a large burner, all right, and turn that up to maximum heat, okay? We want this ripping hot, all right? Now I'm going to add some oil, okay? You don't need to go too crazy with this. You're not deep frying it. You just want to have a layer on the bottom. And as I said, we want this fry pan absolutely ripping hot before we add the, the cut of meat, before we add the... So you never wanna add meat to a cold fry pan and try to fry it, okay? It's not going to work. You're simply going to uh, extract a lot of the moisture out of it and it's just gonna end up stewing and losing a lot of the liquid and a lot of the flavor. So what we wanna do with most heat, with most meats is bring it up to a very high heat before we add. As soon as I see the oil in the fry pan starting to produce a little bit of smoke, all right, we know that that is ripping hot, okay? So about now is the perfect time I'm going to add my steak. So I'm gonna place it down flat side. To this, I'm gonna also add some rosemary and a clove of garlic. Now I haven't peeled this, I've just simply crushed it. So I'm going to throw that in there. Now I'm going to fry this for probably about two minutes on this side. And then I'm going to flip it and I'm going to do the same with the other side. Once I've flipped it, however, I'm also going to add a secret weapon, which is a little bit of butter. All right. And then we are going to baste it, baste the steak while it is cooking. So now it's time I can flip my steak over. Okay, and you're going to see that it's nice and brown and it's got a coat on the side that you just cooked it. Alright, that is perfect how you want it. So now what you're going to do, as I said, is going to add your butter. Letting that melt. And as it does, you're going to get a spoon. And you're going to baste your steak. You're getting all that flavour from the garlic, you're getting all that flavour from the rosemary, okay, and you're putting it straight through your steak.
Now, once you have finished cooking both sides of your steak and basting it, okay, what you're gonna wanna do is sit it to the side and let it rest. So today on my sandwich, I'm going to have some cooked onions, some avocado, dill pickles, jalapenos, cheese, and I'm also going to fry up a slice of bacon. So to my pan where I just cooked my steak, I'm going to add a slice of bacon, all right? And I'm gonna fry that off. To that, I'm also going to add my onion. And cook both of these ingredients. Now that I have let my steak rest for 10 minutes, what I can do is go through and simply slice it into strips. That's perfectly cooked steak. Is, the smell of this is insane. Now today I'm serving up on a Turkish roll, okay? So what I'm gonna do first, is I'm gonna grab my steak, place that onto my roll, my bacon, cooked onion, some strips of avocado, pickles, some jalapenos for some heat. Slices of cheese. And to top that, a drizzle of barbecue hot sauce. There we go, guys. An absolute gourmet of a steak sandwich. Okay? Now, this isn't just the way you cook a steak sandwich. This is the way you cook a steak. All right, so adapt this, use this. Many, many people are gonna fall in love with you if you cook them something like this, you cook them a steak like this. Now, I do understand that I have a lot of vegan followers and I just want to let you know that there are a lot of things coming in the pipeline for you. All right, so I understand you don't wanna get along with this. All right, but a future video will definitely be up your alley. So. Please guys, like, subscribe, it always helps. And I'm gonna enjoy this steak sandwich now, so see you next time.